Okay, so I've done several videos on backing up a Raspberry Pi operating system. And this main one, the purple one here, is the method that I settled on. And I'm really pleased with it because you can shrink it down and, and it's a good way of backing up. And also restoring to a USB stick, an SD card or an SSD drive. And all of that works really well for me. Um, but I had, uh, and I've had several comments from Richard Reed. Uh, and he advised me a while ago, uh, you can use PySafe uh, to back up and restore your SD card to so a compressed image file on GitHub, Richard Midnight PySafe. Uh, and, it's his, and it's his creation, and uh, it's actually very impressive. But I, I did search for it a while ago, couldn't find it. Um, but uh, I did manage to dig around, and I have found it now. So if we go to the GitHub, this is the GitHub with all the information on here. Uh, and... If we scroll down, we've got the installation instructions here. It's very, very straightforward. So what we need to do is copy the first line, and then we need to open a terminal, and right click and paste. Nice and quick. Uh, then we need to copy the second line, and right click and paste, and hit return. So install needed tools, PyShrink, Zip, and XZ tools. So I'll put yes. And you can see it's installing PyShrink and, uh, and Zip tool as well. And this is the interface you get. Now, from this, you can install it into your operating system. So it's not installed uh, in here. So if I go to here and accessories, it's not actually there yet. But if we go back and go to install into the menu, hit return, press yes, PySafe is installed, so hit OK. Now I'll exit out of that because I want to go back into it to show you that it's all installed. And we can close down the terminal, in fact we can close down the web page as well. So now if we go to the start bar, go to accessories, you can see that PySafe is there. So let's click on that, let's pop that in the middle. And you can see we've got various straightforward options. So back up an SD card to an image file, restore an SD card from an image file. They're the two main ones that we want. Uh, but we've got things like list info. So I haven't got anything plugged in here at the moment. So if I was to do list info, uh, it would just show me the current disk that's in there. And this is what the operating system is running from. And this is actually an operating system I've already backed up with PySafe uh, just to test it. And, uh, and it worked very well. It makes a nice small image. So let's hit escape to go back from that. We've got settings on here. You can see here compression, one of nine, default directory, so it, it saves your image in your downloads folder. Uh, default extension zip, well I'm happy with zip. So let's go back. I've already checked for updates and there wasn't any updates, so we don't need to do that. So we're gonna concentrate on this, back up an SD card to an image file. So let's hit return. So you can see no SD cards found because I haven't got any operating system in there. So let's pop the SD card into the reader. And then we'll pop that into the Pi 400 into the USB socket. And go back into screen capture. And let's go back and try that again. There you go. So now you can see it's seen my SD card that's in the reader. Uh, 7.3 gig, so it's an 8 gig card, uh, which is very handy for this backup because it. Uh, I've got a bit of space on there, but it's uh, a 4 gig would be too small. But obviously, the smaller it is, it backs up the whole operating system and the whole size of the stick. So it's good to have a smaller stick for this purpose. Although it does work with bigger ones if you want it to. And the important thing is that it shrinks it really, really well. So let's go down to OK. So you can see here, you can name the file. It's showing you where it's going to put it. So home pi downloads. So I'm just going to call it, uh, I'm going to call it pi 8 gig uh, because I haven't called anything that before. Uh, so I'll know what it is. So go down and OK. So you can see here, it just confirms everything. Create image file, home pi downloads, pi 8 gig dot zip. A good 8 gig card on a Pi 4 takes about 9 minutes. This will switch to terminal screen to watch the progress. Are you sure you want to continue? So yes. And it gives you a nice little countdown there. So you have got a chance to abort it if you, uh, if you wanted to. Okay, so it's backed up the whole image and now it's doing the second part 
uh, which is shrinking it. So you can see it says 7.2 gig copied. Now it's compressing the image. And you can see here that it's uh, shrunk from 7.3 down to 3.8, but it's getting smaller because it's adding the compression with zip as well. So backup done, HomePy downloads Pi 8 gig created from Dev SDA in 16 minutes, 24 seconds. Press any key to continue. And there we go. So if I was to call up the folder and get a downloads, you can see I've got pi 8 gigzip Hit properties on that and you'll see that it is tiny, 1.5 gig. My previous method didn't shrink it as small as that. I think mine was about four gig. This is a really good all-in-one solution to just create an image. Obviously, you need enough space on your, uh, on your operating system to be able to create that backup. But for my purpose, this actually works really well. So I need to eject my operating system I've been backing up. Although that doesn't show in my file system, so I don't know how to eject that. Let's just, let's just pull it out anyway. I'm sure it's not accessing it anymore. And we get that message, look, drive was removed without ejecting. And I want to write this operating system to this uh, Samsung USB stick. And I was told about this. There's something interesting about this, but I'll do that in another video. But let's pop it in. It's a brand new 64 gig stick, which I've never used. So hopefully it will recognize it. Okay, so unfortunately it doesn't recognize it because it's XFAT, but it might recognize it within PySafe. So let's just say okay to that. Uh, let's go okay. Restore an SD card from an image file. So that's the one I've just created. Click on that. Oh, it has got the flash drive, right? So it looks like it might work. So let's do uh, okay on that. Is larger than 16, are you sure this is the right device? Yes. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And you must type yes in capitals to continue. So we've got our 10 second uh, little time that we can abort. Yeah, looks like it's writing. Okay, so that was done really quickly. Uh, two minutes and 23 seconds that took to write. So let's press any key to continue. Done writing, okay. And let's exit that because I think, I think we're all done there. So let's go into Gparted and have a look at uh, the 64 gig stick that I've just written. So this is the 32 gig stick that the operating system is on. Uh, here's the 60 gig one. Yeah, so you can see that it, it's uh, there's a load of unallocated space on this disk. That's fine. All we need to do is right click on this and resize and then drag this so that it uses the whole space for the operating system. So let's hit resize and tick and apply. I've got a separate video on Gparted if you want to know more about Gparted, but it's definitely worth having on a Raspberry Pi 4. Lots of operating systems need expanding after being installed. All operations successfully completed, so let's close that. And close that, and shut down the Pi. So now I can unplug the micro SD card. There you go, so I don't need that anymore. So all I've got in here now is just this uh, Samsung USB drive. So let's boot that up. And that's all booted up successfully. So uh, if I click on the folder, you can see that free space 52.6 because this is this 64 gig USB stick. So there's no reason to think this wouldn't work with, well, I know it works with SD cards because I've already done an SD card backup on it. Uh, we know it works with the USB stick. I'm sure it will be exactly the same with an SSD drive or an M.2 drive uh, because it recognized, it formatted, it wrote it all to it. So it is a really good way of backing up your Raspberry Pi operating system uh, with just one solution. Uh, it does it all in one, all automated, and, uh, and I really like it. So thanks very much to Richard for creating this and uh, for keeping commenting to, to let me know to try it because it is a very, very good program. Uh, it's a really good solution for backing up your Pi. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.